Hello guys and welcome back to this case. My name is Anderson. Today we're gonna to be looking at one of Six Flags Great America's most important attractions. Maybe not for the amazing thrills, but for the experience, for the families, for everybody who has enjoyed it over the years. Uh, we're gonna be looking at Raging Rapids. So uh, we're gonna get straight into today's video. But before that, I should remind you to subscribe. It really does help us out. Helps me out. And, and we've been doing a lot of growing recently. We just like a month ago were at. 200 subs and we're already at 250 so if you want to help us get even further uh, I would really appreciate uh, subscribing commenting all that but let's get straight into today's video Raging Rapids has been a very important attraction ever since I visited the park um, I visited the park since I was like six or seven um, about once a year at least um, and through that time um, Every time I go, with the exception of Fright Fest or, you know, the winter events, I ride Raging Rapids. Raging Rapids is a great ride, you know, uh, it's always nice to have rides like that at your home park. It's always nice to have something to do when the other rides are closed. Um, and this ride, you know, I've been to the ride over the years, um, and it has definitely gotten into disrepair. So, first off, um, I have, I don't want to say sources, but, uh, I have talked to people who have said the signs have been removed. Um, that's not too surprising to me, um, for a few things, and that doesn't necessarily mean it's immediately being removed. Um, but the signs being removed does mean something. It just could mean, uh, they're updating the signs, updating the name, updating things like that. Could be gone for a few years, wouldn't be surprised, but we'll talk about that, what that means later. Second off. Uh, there have been rumors that a concrete uh, slab collapsed inside the ride. I don't know where, um, but that a concrete slab has collapsed. Whether this is true or false, we don't know for sure. If that's the case, it definitely explains the signs being removed, the ride being down for the season. Um, and as I said, this is an important attraction. Anybody going to this park can ride this ride. Anybody going to this park will probably want to ride this ride. And anybody going to this park who wants to ride the ride, you have to have it open. And for this ride, I mean, there's so many people going through the line. Same thing with both of the log flumes. Um, but a concrete being collapsed and being closed for a season is kind of a bad sign to start off with. So obviously it's not opening this season. Um, we know that. Um, and so what do these things mean? What does all this mean? So I'll go, I have uh, three theories I'm about to give you. Uh, we'll start off with the first, the most obvious. So concrete collapsed, uh, first situation, they close the ride this year, they fix the slab, they open it next year. That's definitely a possibility. No real changes, signs removed, they're gonna, it's just because, you know, they don't want to alert people that this ride is open, they want to hide it away a little bit. Oh, also I did forget to mention, queues in disrepair. I've noticed that in my past years, I have seen pictures and people have talked to me that the queue is in disrepair as well, so that's another thing, and so they might update things like that. They'll update a few things, um, fix the concrete slab, and then that's about it. What, next theory, theory number two, a full-on refurbishment. We see new theming, a new name, new stuff going in like the tunnel, updating some of the systems, and then in about three, two, two to three years, it reopens with a new name, almost like, uh, what was it, Bigfoot River Rapids, or whatever the River Rapids ride is at Knott's, where they completely refurbished it, opened it up, and it looks amazing. So I can definitely see that happening here at Six Legs Red America. Q needs work, uh, ride needs work, and so they could definitely do all that in one file swoop. Final theory, theory number three, we could see it being replaced with a ride. Being removed entirely, that would cost a lot more money than being refurbished, and for such an important ride, I don't see it being removed. But let's say it is. What could replace it? We could see an Aquaman Power Wave type attraction, although, um, as I've been alerted to, even though I already knew this, Park already has a water coaster, so that's probably not going to happen. But, we definitely could see a coaster coming here. Uh, we could see um, a launch coaster, maybe like uh, West Coast Racers, that has a flatter layout. And I could also see the park, like, in a five to ten year plan they start off removing raging rapids they remove the two old log flumes they remove v2 or sorry move that maybe move the you know use some of the things that still remain they can try and put the, give the boats to different parks sell parts that are sellable then take that whole area 
turn it into a new park area um, or maybe just add re essentially rework that section so maybe give the area a new theme add a new coaster uh, add the log flume in there somewhere else in the park um, and just rework the area with new rides and that could be a 10 year plan to really fix up the park but those are a few things I could see them doing either a just fixing it up for next season B, giving in the ride a refurbishment, or C, replacing it with something new. And if you guys have an idea for what they're going to do with this ride, definitely comment below. I, I'm always looking for comments. I'm always willing to respond. I'm always looking down there, and I'm going to give my best guess if you guys have any questions on the situation. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for today's episode. And if you guys have any other theories about the ride, um, I really appreciate uh, you guys helping us out uh, at subscribing and making us want to make future videos anyway thank you guys for this suggestion of a video uh, and thank you for watching this full video and i'll see you guys in a future episode on midwest coasters goodbye <laughs>